Money does not make you successful. Are you shocked? Money does not make you successful. What makes you successful is what you have achieved, not what you have acquired. There's a difference between achievement and acquire. Achievement is what you have done for yourself. Achievement is what you have built for yourself. Achievement is how you have touched the next person. Achievement is the things you're going to leave behind. The things that are going to remain. The things that are going to teach even the next and the next upper generation. What you acquire is what you buy. What you want to own. Television, phone, house, land, cars. That's what you acquire. And those things will go away. Achievement is you. It is rooted to the ground. What you acquire is the branch. It's just like leaf. <laughs> it can fall. Anybody can acquire anything. But not everybody can achieve anything. We will have that word. Money misroad. A lot of people can fall into money. And buy anything they want to buy. And go to anywhere they want to go. But not everybody who fall into money can achieve. Can leave a legacy. Can be impactful. That's the difference between achievement and acquiring something. Money doesn't make you successful. Let me teach you how to be successful. Achievement simply means the best thing what you can do. The best in your crafts. The best of yourself. The best that you can give out. That is the trumpet that the world is going to keep blowing till you live your life until the day you die. Have you ever gone for a barrier? When they are putting somebody six feet under the ground and they begin to reach that obituary and say, um, Mr. Chike had 20 houses in Ireland. Mr. Chike had Range Rover. He had Brabus. He had G-Wagon. Mr. Chike even drove a Mercedes Benz. Have you ever had that in a funeral? No. This is what they blow in a funeral. It is called your achievement. <laughs> Mr. Chike went to primary school here. Mr. Chike went to secondary school here. Mr. Chike had a master's. Mr. Chike was the best in what he does. Mr. Chike was this and Mr. Chike was that. Mr. Chike achieved this. And oh, they would tell you how Mr. Chike had touched life. They would tell you the things that Mr. Chike have done for himself. They will not tell you what things that Mr. Chike have acquired. And that is the thing people are going to remember you for. And that is the thing that is going to bless your children and your children's children. What have you achieved? It's called legacy. What are you leaving behind when you die? Even when you are alive, what do people know you for? Nobody's going to say, oh, bless you, Nokoro, that get away by house for this place. Bless you, Nokoro, that get away lie about house. Even your achievements will make people forget your mistake. <laughs> I am telling you that whenever you begin to achieve, whenever you begin to discover yourself, whenever you begin to decide to be good at that thing that you know how to do, people will forget your mistake and begin to remember you for that thing that you are doing. That is what is called a craft. That is what is called achievement. It washes a lot of sins away. When you achieve a lot for yourself, people will forget your bad things that you have done. When you achieve a lot for yourself, people will only remember you for that achievement. That is why it takes time to achieve it is called a craft you become so good at what you do and when you become good at what you do what you do begins to touch different lives that is why you'll be remembered for it always forget what you have acquired but nobody will forget what you have achieved that is what gives you a biography. <laughs> it is your achievement that gives you a biography. <laughs> Whenever you go to somebody's page, both on social media or real life, even your CV, it is your achievement that gives you that biography and that CV. Who are you? I am this person that went to this secondary school achievement. I am this person that went to this university achievement. I am this person who did his master's achievement. I am this person who has worked in so, 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 and so, 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 and so place achievement. That is what gives you a CV. That is what gives you a biography. My name is Blessing CEO. I'm the number one relationship expert in Africa. You begin to become good in your craft. You become best at it. People begin to know you for that. People will begin to remember you for that. 
till the day you die. And even when you die, they will always reference blessing Okoro was the number one relationship expert in Africa. Achievement. Nobody will remember the cars she bought. Nobody will remember the houses she bought. They will only remember the legacy, the things that she has done for herself. That is what is called a biography. That is what it's called CV. What have you achieved since the day you were born till now? That is what people are interested in. They are not interested in what you have or what you bought. That one is personal satisfaction. Nobody remembers you for that. They remember you of the things you use in equipping yourself. It's called personal growth. How else do I sing this song for you to understand it? I say achievement is different from what you acquire. Success is not money. Success is personal growth. How have you developed yourself? How are people seeing you? What have you given to people? How have you bettered people around you? That is success. That is what people will hail you for. That is what will give you fans. Fans will not come because you have money. Fans will come because of your achievement that is why they say success has so many family and friends once you begin to achieve a lot you begin to attract a lot it becomes a magnet it simply means you are touching people here and there i don't know what you're doing are you a singer are you an actor i don't know what you do but for everything you do you need to be good in that thing that you do and that is what gives birth to legend david Doe cannot insult two face whiskey cannot insult two face Ranky cannot insult two face we are the new actresses um all these new actresses cannot insult genevieve cannot insult a Nikike, cannot insult Peter doche because these are people who have been good in their craft these are people who have rooted themselves to the ground in what they do and even if you are not coming and you get to that ladder you will respect those who have been there who have achieved who have rooted themselves to the ground nobody remembers you for what you have acquired they remember you for only what you have achieved when you have this understanding to life trust me you are not going to be chasing audio you are going to be chasing video audio is what you want to acquire video is what you want to achieve then something you don't even understand let me shock you when you begin to achieve men will begin to bless you when you begin to achieve, men will begin to give you. Why do you think you can just stay? Somebody will say, Blessing, see you, I love you. Just take this phone. Blessing, see you, I love you. Please just take that house in Lekki. Blessing, see you, I love you. Please take this Range Rover key. Blessing, see you, I love you. Please take this and take that. It is not because I am blessing, see you. It is not because they want to sleep with me. It is because I have achieved something. Achievement have a way of touching people's life. Achievement have a way of impacting impacting people. Achievements have a way of inspiring people. Men will bless you. Those things you want to acquire, you will acquire them. It comes with achievement, but you need to be able to achieve before you acquire. When you achieve, people will not question your wealth. Have you ever wondered when you will say, ah, this person get house. This person get car. This person don't get 25 houses. This person gets estate. Do you know the next question that is going to come? What thing she they do? What thing he they do? Ah! Ah, ah, they begin to do, ah, they begin to say, oh, now Yahoo boy, yo. <laughs> that one, uh, Shamo. <laughs> that's because what you have acquired is larger than what you have achieved. But when they say, oh, that girl get house, oh, that girl get cow, oh, you can't ask, what thing should they do? Ah, blessing, see you. Oh. Now she be the number one relationship expert in Africa. This girl, eh, if I tell you the places where she don't go talk, this girl don't make so many relationships. This girl don't help so many. Marry. Hey, the person goes say who she be. Ha, she deserve a more Lua bless her. Let your achievement be louder than things that you have acquired. Men of gold don't wear gold. But when you scratch them, you are going to see gold. This is one of the lessons I learned during the house saga. When I lied with Onyeze's house, I thought that when I lie, people would think I'm successful. I thought that when I lie that I have people would think I am rich. But guess what? <laughs> it didn't work. It doesn't even work. You're just going to look rich, but you're not going to be rich. But guess what? When you are achieve you wouldn't have to lie when you are achieve people already believe that you have when you are achieve people even place you in a place even when they say ah this one get plenty houses so that is what achievement does because it is loud it is visible it is a ah people can people can rest people can accept Explain achievement, but a lot of people cannot explain things that you acquire. But when you achieve and you acquire, everything begins to correspond. Nobody is going to question your wealth. 
<laughs> the reason why you are questioning that Yahoo boy is that you are saying, what has he achieved? <laughs> we don't know him now. This Yahoo boy has not achieved anything now. How did he get the money that he is spending? <laughs> it is because what you acquire is louder than what you achieve. Achieve. Every other thing you want to acquire will come. Achievement comes with a lot of acquiring. That's why I said your achievement becomes louder than what you have acquired. Wealthy men do not make noise with what they acquired. Wealthy men make noise with their achievements, what they have done, how they have impacted people's life. That is what they want the public to hear. That is what they want the news to hear. Don't post my car. Don't put my hand. All those things are irrelevant. You are drawing an umbrella to me. So I want to show you what I can do for the society. I want to show you people my craft. I want to show you that I can sing. I want to show you that I can dance. I want to show you that I can talk. I want to impact your life. That is the bet of fans. That is how people begin to love you and begin to root for you. Why do they do that? It is because you have touched their life one way or the other with the things you have done for yourself. I repeat myself. Achievement is personal growth. What you are doing to build yourself that begins to affect the next person around you. That is what is called achievement. Acquiring is a selfish thing. Nobody can share your house. Nobody can share your car. So it is nobody's business. The only thing that becomes public business is what affects them. What are you doing to affect the people around you? That is what is called achievement. If you have not affected the people around you, then you haven't achieved anything. You are just, you are just a noise maker, an empty drum that makes a lot of noise. Achievement is touching people around you, improving the world, leaving something behind. That is what is called achievement. Leave you with this. Remember this for every time you want to acquire and acquire without achieving. People will always forget everything you have acquired, but they can never, never forget the things that you have achieved. Achievement is a biography. Achievement is your CV. Achievement is that thing people are going to live and remember for. Achievement is that legacy, that thing that you have left behind. Achievement will bless your children, children, and your generation. A lot of people who have achieved have died, but we still remember them for it. So today, I want to remind you that success is not about what you have. Success is about your self-improvement, what you can do for yourself, what you can achieve for yourself, and not what you acquire for yourself. With this few point of mine, I hope I've been able to prove to you to achieve more than you acquire. Let your achievement be louder than what you acquire.